I think me with my strike ears is just so cute and I really don't want to take them off. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another Fairy Core Let's Play. I have been busy. I have been working all in the same day. Very, very hard. <laughs> very hard. Um, I completed the upper part of our village and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but before I do that though, just want to say I think from now on I'm going to change up my editing style just a little bit um i decided to just go ahead and stop adding music from clipchamp because i've been running into a lot of issues and a lot of problems with clipchamp so i'm kind of i'm kind of over it <laughs> um i'm over it with obs acting up and dropping my frames i'm over clipchamp and and whatever the hell it's been doing recently i'm i'm over a lot of it so we're gonna be enjoying some minecraft music typical minecraft music and i just hope and pray that it won't copyright me which i don't think it will i think i should be fine but if um if it comes on and i need to turn it down then i will but yeah we're just gonna listen to the regular regular minecraft music and also um i wanted to mention i think i'm just gonna go ahead and because okay so with the shader pack that i use i'll show you guys um i've showed it before oops i showed it before but uh this one that i use i've tried the these two and they it's i can't play <laughs> it looks amazing trust me but this is the only one that i can really like be able to play with and my frame still be somewhat okay but as of recently it just has not been okay so do forgive me if sometimes in videos I have the shader pack on and then sometimes I don't have the shader pack on. It just depends on if it works with me that day. Um, personally, I think I'm starting to like it a little bit more without the shader pack though. Because with the shader pack, the lights are like super bright and I don't know how to turn it off. And it doesn't really give that cozy like mystical vibe. So yeah, if sometimes it works with me, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends. But anyways let's look at our fairy soiree so i've done a bunch of work over on this side i've added some flower lights i really love the flower lights <laughs> i don't know what it is but i wanted to i wanted them to kind of blend in a little bit so i've got some purple lights here i finished um the houses on this side i took that yellow light down because i didn't really like the way that it looked um over here I'm gonna make this a building for a villager. Um, I'm thinking it, originally the building um, was for a greenhouse, so it's technically a greenhouse building, but I think I'm gonna make it into a flower breeding building. This is the inside of it. Oh my god, where? Ugh, stop. Oh my god. It gave me a garden gnome. <gasps> cute. Really cute. <laughs> Wait, I love it. I love it. Whoa, is that like a rare drop or something? I don't know. Anyways, like I was like I was showing you guys, this is what the inside looks like. I'm gonna use this space as a flower breeding um building. <laughs> I don't know you guys know what I'm trying to say though but yeah and then I'm gonna have like a villager being here kind of like in charge of the store a little bit but we'll be using it <laughs> um but I will link the tutorial that I followed in the description box of course because all credits go to that person um I definitely struggled with the freaking roof it was so difficult for no reason but yeah I just want to show you guys a little bit the outside and then this is the part that I'm really most excited for. Um, finished these these little mushroom houses as well. Um, did a, another house over here for villager, and I kind of blocked this area off because, like I said, I wanted this part to be covered so nobody's getting hurt or injured. I'm thinking of adding like a little farming area over here, but this part is I gotta get rid of that. But this part is 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 what I'm most proud of it's like so simple but I just added like this little cute picnic area right here so people could just sit and like look at the eventual life in in the water that we will have and that we're getting today a little spoiler alert oh perfect 
perfect well yes i made this little picnic area with these cushions to match the the color of the leaves and i also made the flower lights the same color as the leaves <laughs> and i just add like a little pumpkin with some supposed to be lit candles that for some reason it just won't light like if the particles won't show that it's lit it'll just show like the smoke but you know but i just added this picnic basket and yeah, I really love it. I think this is so cute. I honestly, I feel like maybe, maybe some, maybe like a bench. Is there a bench here? Bench. Oh, there is. I can maybe even add a bench over here. I can add maybe a warped bush. A warped bush. Okay, girl, bye. Warped bench. That's cool. What is that? Okay, anyways. So yeah, that's really all I've done. <laughs> I'm actually recording this the exact same day that I was working on it. So it took me quite literally all day. But I was having, honestly, a lot of fun. Like, I was just very happy with, with decorating. I honestly, sometimes I find decorating a little bit dreadful. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but it's just a little icky sometimes. But yeah, um, also added this little pathway over here. And then I also... I also added this pathway over here so there's two ways for our newcomers to to get to the lake over here okay like this is what I'm talking about like as you can see like my frames are dropping ridiculously low and I'm not even doing anything <laughs> but the last place that I want to show you guys is actually our shrine area so I added some lanterns, some floating lanterns, and I also put some on the floor. Um, I think this area is really beautiful, honestly. So there's some there's some lanterns in the trees as well. So if you go up, there's some lanterns, and then I added just some these two little floating lanterns over here on the on the, on the at the back of the shrine. Yeah, that is all that I've done so far. I I think honestly my favorite place might be. The shrine area i don't know it's just it's just so so beautiful to me i think i think it's really pretty okay so what is the goals for today i also had juniper out y'all okay so <laughs> actually let me go to sleep real quick while i'll tell the story so while i was building like the little picnic area right i had miss hazel out with us or out with me while I was decorating right and I was trying to grow the tree the 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 frost tree that's over there and while I was growing it of course she was following me so she was with me we will just put this guy right here and whenever I grew the tree I didn't have my headphones on I was just I was listening to like a little podcast I think I was listening to Danielle uh Christy, Christy, Danielle's, one of Danielle's videos about true crime. I'm obsessed with true crime, love true crime. So I think I was listening to one of her videos about this cold or whatever. And I grew the tree and then Hazel suffocated and she died. She died, <laughs> but she did respawn. <laughs> and I have no clue where she's at now. <laughs> um, yeah, she was over here in this area, but I don't know where she's at anymore. Cause she's not in her she's not in her house obviously you can see through the window she's not in her house so i don't know where she's at um she was following me but she's not anymore <laughs> so i don't know um but anyways we're gonna continue where we left off with the fey mod or fey wild mod because we definitely have more some more quests to do so we can go ahead and continue with that what's that smell what are you making the cake for Prince Oberon? No, 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 this treasure is mine. Let's eat it quickly before Prince Oberon finds out. <laughs> the tiny pixie plunges her face inside of the cake. Whew, I'm stuffed. Think I might explode. Got any more? Baby, I never made a cake. She just gave me trees. <laughs> She's so cute. I can't believe you ate both cakes. Now we don't have an offering for Prince Oberon. Maybe if we grow some spring tree saplings, he'll be pleased with us. It'll also make me feel more at home. Okay, so we're gonna grow some spring trees for her. Do we have to like actually grow them or just plant them? Okay, cool. But I've been having a lot of fun 
watching love stars videos and the fact that some of you guys have come back to continue to watch my videos is absolutely crazy so thank you so much for watching i'm having a lot of fun and i hope you are too all right miss spring pixie i wonder if we can name her i'm sure we can honestly she gives me like um she gives me uh, what's her name from winx oh, stella she gives me stella vibes <laughs> it might be because she's blonde hair blue eyes is stella blonde hair blue eyes hold on i gotta look that up I think she's blonde hair, brown eyes, right? We're gonna call her Stella. Let's talk to Miss Stella. Stella, wait, come back, girl. Wow, they look amazing. You're the best. Oh, she gives us a hug. Thanks for being my friend. I'm about to cry. No, because when Hazel died, I literally started tearing up. <laughs> I felt so bad because I couldn't save her. She just suffocated in the tree and that was that. That's crazy. Um, Real quick, real quick. Real super duper quick. I want to see if I can name her. A collar tag should work, right? Should work. <laughs> I mean, I have a name tag. We can use a name tag. Or I thought I had a name tag. <laughs> I do. I must say I do. It's here somewhere. Okay, we're just going to add that back real quick. We're gonna put that there. And we're gonna name her Stella. I hope I can name her Stella. <laughs> Wait, um Juniper, you can you can be on our adventure today. Hey, please be able to name her. Oh, can I give you a nickname too? My real name's a secret though. I'll never tell, never ever. Yay! Oh, we didn't use the name tag. But her name is Stella though. Oh, I love it! I love it! Okay, let's start chapter two. Still want to know more about the other courts? But I told you everything. We're awesome and fun and the others are boring. I mean, we could go to the Feywild and visit the other courts, but... I don't know how adventurers can cross the veil and enter our lands. Maybe we could visit a library? You try to explain to the little pixie what a library is. Oh, that sounds boring. Wait, are there books about food? Count me in. <laughs> She's me for real. The fae are satisfied. <laughs> okay, the fact that I just had to come here. But yeah, this is a library. I think I've showed it before in a video, so... We can go back home. <sighs> Disappointment. <laughs> oh? Hey, look. Every time you ring that bell, the librarian will... The librarian will... <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't even know how to say that. The librarian will be summoned to this spot. That's so funny. You should ring it. I dare you. Again. Do it again. <laughs> Little Pixie wipes away a tear of laughter. Please be aware that ringing the bell too many times will make the librarian call security. You have been warned. Ring the bell inside of the library. I kind of want her to come with us. Because <laughs> just going back and forth is kind of weird. He's, they gonna call security. See, I, I should have made a waypoint, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a waypoint. This is crazy. Who he gonna call though? What kind of security he gonna call? Okay, we're gonna make a waypoint. We're gonna call it library. Oh God. Library. And we're gonna make it, I'm a, why did I call that blue? It's not blue. It's purple. Okay. I'm gonna head down here. Boop. Oh, the way I'm just. <laughs> oh, I actually need this. I need that orange tulip. Okay, anyways. Let's go in here. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. I wanna know what security is. I'm here already. Please be quiet. <laughs> 
I want to know what the security is. Should I, should I, should I fuck around and find out, y'all? Should I fuck around and find out? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yep, yep, we're good. We are good. Look at him following me. That is crazy. <laughs> I can't. It didn't say that the Faye were satisfied, so I don't know if it worked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> the little pixie can't stop laughing. Are you okay, adventurer? Did you see how angry he got though? His face turned all red. Did you find any information yet? Meh, I'm so bored. Aren't there any fun picture books here? The pixie starts digging through a pile of books. Botania flowers? Looks complicated. Create, create what? Ooh, this one has pictures of all kinds of animals. Get the Feywild lexicon, we did that. So we'll just go grab it real quick. Something I don't really understand is why, why would they give you the book when you spawn in if they're just going to make you, if they're just going to make you get the book anyways for the quest, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make sense as to why you spawn in with the book if they're going to make you go get the book anyways. I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of the traveling back and forth and adventuring, but okay. I think we better go. The librarian looks very angry at us. We made a mess of his books, asked all kinds of questions. And why did you have to ring that bell so often, girl? Because you told me to. <laughs> oh, and I took this fun book. Look at all the weird animals. <laughs> La Llama Land. She lied. Teleportation orb. Okay, question. Depending on which one I choose, will I not be able to come... Like, will I... Uh, I want to be able to come back to these. Or are these like, like the chapters? Oh, anyways, let's just focus and get the teleportation orb. <laughs> so, in order to go to the Fey Wild, you'll have to give me a pixie orb. Capture another Fey inside of an Eye of Ender to make one, and I can use it to give you a way in. Don't worry, they won't mind. Gift your pixie a pixie orb. So, capture another fae inside of an eye of ender. Ha! Okay. An eye of ender, huh? I don't exactly remember how to make it. Oh, we gotta go to the nether! <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that, y'all. Um... God, okay. All right. Ooh, let's do this. I can't with the fast. I'm like, dude, why does it sound like I'm breaking like every bone in my body? Okay, so with this magma, magma pet, it should be pretty easy to, to fight. I don't really know which way to go. I haven't, I've not explored the nether at all y'all, so I don't know where I'm going. We just gonna, we just gonna fly. We gonna fly till I spot something. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yep, all right now. <laughs> okay. Let's light this bitch up. Put this motherfucker up. Okay, I'm gonna teleport, or er, create a waypoint. Saying this is our, or er, let's say fortress. And we'll color it red. I'm like, where's the red? <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. All right, let's go get these. Let's go get these. These blades. Only thing I'm really worried about is the wither. Wither skeletons. It's the only thing. Okay. 
I knew there was one up here, so just being cautious, of course. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be Gucci. Is there one closer? There's one over there. I think this one might be the closest one. All right, what's good with you? Why are why are they so weak? <laughs> Please. I'm I have to get I'm about to get up up close and personal. Oh hello, you're adorable. Hold on, because I'm pretty sure they can still like physically hurt me. So, what you got going on? Another word. Wow, two another ingots for totem of dying. Oh, this is actually a good. This is good. They give you netherite scrap. Yep. Yep. Scared of what? Scared of what? Yep. It's cool. It's cool. Honestly, this nether fortress looks really good. Pretty unique. Okay, we got four. Oh, I got a. Uh, I got a thing. <laughs> I think I have one of these already. Or maybe not. I don't know. Elefano. Alright, since it's night time, I want to take advantage of this and try to see if we can find some Endermen to kill. Hopefully we can find some Endermen. I hope we can. Because I don't... I've, I've really just slept through... I've slept through the most nights, so I really, wouldn't really know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can make an ender pearl from 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 the from the nuggets. I really don't like wearing a shield because I feel like it blocks literally half the screen. So I typically don't like wearing a shield 24 seven. Um, OK, in here. Oh, shut the f up, dude. Thank God. Oh, man. Exploring just comes in clutch. I'm telling you. Let's go. All right, cool. Let's see. Um, I really hope this works. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, Stella, we finally have the teleportation orb. Um, okay, so we just have to give it to her. Oh, for me, thank you so much. If you need any more of them, just bring me another pixie orb. Oh my gosh, I finally got it! Wait, so this means I can finally go to the Feywild dimension. Oh, am I gonna be the first elf to go to the Feywild dimension? This is so exciting. Okay, I need a good night's sleep. Juniper, stay here. And first thing in the morning, we can go to the Feywild Dimension. Hey, it's a brand new day. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> oh, why am I nervous? Okay. Let's go ahead and visit the Feywild Dimension. You guys, autumn red leaves. Oh, s shut the, f look at all the sleeping foxes. Are you kidding me? The way there's only three, but it's fine. <gasps> okay, let's try to get down as safe as possible. Oh my goodness. We spawned in the biome Eternal Falls. Wow. Where to go? Where to go? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I 
I don't want to accidentally hit her. <laughs> Can also recaption a summoned Fae. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It is right click. It is right click. Okay, so I was thinking because the 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 keybinds are switched for me. Oh, we've been spawned on top of the tree. Okay, here we go. And then she will follow me. Okay, great, perfect. I'm like, let's let's do something that's in the actual dimension. <laughs> Let's do a race to see who can pop the dandelion fluff the fastest. Loser has to play with the other all night long. Ready, set, hey, no fair. Okay, which is which is why he gave us that 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 thing. Okay, so the dandelions. Oh. Oh. Why are you here? I thought this was a peaceful dimension. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Um Okay, the dandelions were over here. Wow, okay. The dandelions were over here, so we already accidentally popped one of them. So let's go purposefully. There are boats here too? Oh, wow. They've spawned in this dimension too? That's crazy. Dandelion. Oh, okay, okay. I was <laughs> I was so confused. All right, that's 2 3 4 Who else? Who else? Where else? I see this one over here. Boop. 5. <laughs> <sighs> you cheated. Hmm. You lose track of the time and play with the pixie all through the night. Was it just one night or two or more? <laughs> okay. Oh, golden honey. See, this is the thing. I don't know if I should be doing some of these quests in the dimension or not. I don't know. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Answer my question. Now that we're in the Feywild, we should definitely get an offering for Prince Oberon, or he might get upset. I still can't believe you ate both cakes. Oh, I know. We could steal one of those delicious golden magical honeycombs from the summer court. But be careful, the pixie giggles, about those bee knights patrolling the area. Don't get stung. Go to the golden sealy fields biome in the Feywild dimension. Obtain a magical honeycomb from the beekeep structure. Oh no. <laughs> this girl is trying to get us in trouble. Oh wow. Alright, um... Off to find a bee, a bee biome, bee biome. Bee. Wait, yes he is. Oh no 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 he's not. No he's not. No he's not. Oh, but he's so cool looking though. Okay, all right, all right, sir. You guys, I searched for so long, <laughs> and. That biome just does not exist. I I I guarantee that that biome just does not exist. So we're just gonna give it up for now. Might come back a little bit later. I'm not really sure, but I couldn't find the biome. So a little unfortunate. Got some diamonds. Got some um iron. And yeah, I don't think the nature's compass works in that biome because it was just sending me to the same places. And every time it would say that it looked up that that specific um that specific biome, nothing really came of it. So that's unfortunate, but it's okay. But now we're actually going to shift our attention to getting some creatures and some 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 life in our village. But of course we can't start that without naming our actual girlies that are here. Because you can't bring in some, some new people and some new life without, you know, naming the people who are already in the village. <laughs> so, we're going to make collar tags for the rest of my girls that are in here, that are in the village already. Some of this, some iron. Make some chain. 
plural. That's plural. <laughs> Let's make, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll make some collar tags. Boop. Okay. 11 should be good. I know you can enchant these, obviously, because these have enchantments on them. But I probably won't. Just because I want to save my enchants for something a little bit more useful. Don't cover me for saying that. Don't absolutely hate me, but yeah. Okay, let me get these names going real quick. Super exciting. All right, so the twins, I'm going to name them Buttercup, Bubbles, and then, of course, we're going to have our big girl be Blossom. <laughs> so we have Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles. <laughs> I love it. It's so stupid, but I love it. And then for our ink cap mushroom girl, we are going to name her Miss Olive. She's so cute. Oh, so cute. All right. Now that our girls are named, everybody has a name. So we have Olive, Juniper, Hazel, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. We have Juniper, Stella. And I think that's it. And then our kitties are Zef, Reese, and Celeste. Yeah, that should be that should be it. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Juniper. Yeah, you'll you'll come with us on our adventure since we already kind of told told her we could, she could come on our, our adventure. Um. All right. So now I need to make a net. There's two different types of net there's one net for butterflies and then there's another net for creatures and beasts yeah so it's just sticks and string which we of course have and i think i can catch multiple um multiple critters in a one net i hope uh, oops okay want to catch some ferrets of course I want to catch specifically a white ferret and I th mm, I'm not you know I'm not too picky about the other colors but I really want that like pure white one those are really pretty so we're gonna go oh I was like is that a ferret <laughs> we're gonna go on a hunt for some ferrets hello little ferret what? Oh, can I capture these guys? Oh, cute. Okay, let's get two of them because... Oh, you can't have just one. They gotta have friends. You're pretty. I like the color. I like the color. Oh, what are you? A sea mosquito. <laughs> Alright, me and Juniper are seeing a lot more. Look at these guys. How cute. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, let's see. I knew it. Ooh. Oh, that's the same one that I have. <laughs> Oh, jump scare. <gasps> it's right here. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, yay. I keep gasping and scaring my dog. <laughs> uh, first things first, though. Let's go ahead and release our fish that we gathered. Right here, all of our fishies. Okay, look, we've got some axolotls in here. <gasps> what? 
What just happened? <laughs> Hello? Um, so with that, I'm thinking, should I maybe kind of make room for them and have their own little habitat? Because I don't, they don't, I don't, okay, I'm going to say they don't belong here in the sense that, wait, <laughs> they don't belong here in the sense that they're not really mushroom girls or gorgagoras like you know what i'm saying like i feel like they would want their own habitat so maybe i should create maybe something back here because eventually i am gonna make a sheep farm because i tend to need a lot of wool and dye for projects so i think making maybe make an area somewhere over here for these little guys make their own little habitat for them. I think that'll be good. Um, that'll be something in the next, and uh, well, maybe not the next episode, but in another episode, kind of creating their own little area. I think that'll be a better idea than, than to just like set them wild and, and whatnot. So yeah, I think I like that idea better than just setting them, setting them free. But yes, so we do have two ferrets. Um, and then I also have the ferret that I did not get over there. But um, I'm also going to go get a horsey for now. Uh, I don't, I don't remember how to get, how do I get a regular Minecraft horse? For now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to set the, the little guy free. Because um, I don't really want it to, want anything to happen. Oh, wow. Come on, little guy. Let's just be friends. And then you go suffocate me. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I just want to be friends. Are we friends? Yay, we're friends. Okay. Now. Is he going to follow me? After a very long and treacherous journey, I was finally able to get our two strawberry cows. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, I love it. Oops. Now that our ferrets are caged and boated, our cats are sat, our grebes and our fish are placed. Now, finally, to end the episode, we're gonna go get us some villagers and this is going to also be painfully long and treacherous because <laughs> I have to get them one by one um sorry we have th four five no one two three four four houses house-esque yeah so two three villager houses and then the shop okay so yeah I need to go back and forth four times <laughs> to get a villager um so let's do this and i'll go ahead and record this part because why not why not um that's what i like about this gear dine. you can fit two people in it and so it makes things a little bit easier but i want to get two boys two girls just to make it kind of even and yeah maybe one of them can become our lover we just gotta see we gotta see and thankfully this this village is pretty close i might have to spend the night here as well since the sun is going down all right do i have a lead on? Oh, can you lead no you can you can just tell them to follow you can't can't they yeah okay this is my first time playing with minecraft comes alive so i don't really know but we shall see hello gonna steal this bed All right, we need to choose who we're gonna take. Murad, who's jobless. Murad's jobless. Ooh. Kachator? Kachator? Oh, looks like we have our first person. Ta Tatavik. Hi. Tatavik. Are you, who are you? 
parents are Shane and Char Mista. I don't know if you are a girl or boy. Oh, they're both dead. Oh, she's an orphan. They're an orphan. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. I see, I see the titties. I see the titties. Okay, well, perfect. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, no. All right. Tatvik. I'm a, I'm a, I think it's Tatvik. Tatvik. Oh yeah, I also wanted to oh, look at the look at the little grabber. Look at him. So cute. I also wanted to see if we can make friends or tame the centaurs and the satresses, but I think I'm gonna have to save that for for next episode. This episode has been pretty long and I'm still not even done with doing what I needed to do. Okay. So we're gonna land right over here. Ooh, Lord. Rocky landing, rocky landing. Okay. And really annoying, but I'm gonna have to break this every single time. Okay. Hello. Um, interact. Follow me, please, Miss Girl. You're really beautiful. You're beautiful with your little red eyes and your bow. Okay, so I actually have a house for you. I know it's a little bit weird coming into a random a random place in a random village that you don't know but i hope you like it here hey. um interact uh this is your home hey. and uh stay here for now okay perfect welcome home tatvik all right put this down and do it all over again <laughs> let's take off this reminds me of um little einsteins i freaking love little einsteins okay um let me actually go somewhere where they hopefully won't be able to get stuck and let's repair that okay Oh, you're pretty too. With your purple eyes. <laughs> it's like everybody that I call pretty just wants to <laughs> wants to come along. I'm um, sure. Sure. All the pretty girls. Pretty girls only in my village, okay? Cripsick. Cripsick, okay. Interesting names. <laughs> Definitely hard to pronounce, but I'll get it eventually. I wonder if you can change their name. I don't know. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Eat my last egg sandwich. Alright, we're actually gonna go over here. I do want them to mix and mingle. Alright. And please kindly make your way out of the Giradine. Hi. Follow me, please. And your house is just gonna be over here. Oh, there's no bed. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think I need to put a bed in here. Just maybe. Okay. Hi. Um. So, this is your new home right uh so you know what just stay here for a little let me go take care of that let me take care of that real quick uh yeah let me just ah all right ma'am i have your bed i'm coming i'm on my way here we go oh my why did she all of a sudden become a guard <laughs> uh okay sure Okay, now this is your home. Hi. And yes, stay there. You're unhappy. I, yeah, moving could be a lot, you know. Um, I'm not really sure what your family tree is. We gotta, we gotta learn about that a little bit more, but I'm sure you'll, 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 you'll be happy here. There's a lot of different creatures and animals here, so 
Hopefully you'll like it, but I gotta get some more people so we can talk a little bit later. All right, two more folk, two more folk. Let me not call anybody handsome this time because <laughs> they might want to just hop in and I'm not ready for them to hop in. So I think I'll break my gear line before I just go and, you know, try to scope out who who I think is, is a great fit for our village. We're going on a trip. All right, so we've gone to the bottom ones. Let's go to the top. Let's go to the top. Land safely. Go ahead and get rid of that before anybody jumps in. Oh, look at you, Miriam. You're a farmer. You have a flower crown. You're so pretty. I could be friends with her. Okay, um, let's see. Two guys. Ooh, are y'all are y'all in cohets with each other? Cahoots? Hello. Not married. Okay. You wanna come you wanna come? Interact, follow me. Oh, here, just just hop in here real quick yeah yeah there you go there you go sergi sergi <laughs> fergie oh but i did not put my landing gear on let's do that okay sergi sergio i feel like it's a nickname <laughs> sergi i think you'll like it at our at our village you kind of fit right in with your with your blonde hair yeah Something about those blondies, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Not much of a talker, huh? <sighs> I get that. I understand that. All right, Sergi. Well, I actually have a nice home for you. And don't worry, you're not the only one. I feel like I'm kidnapping these people. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a mandragora. Um, okay. Let, let's, let's, let me, let me kill the mandragora first. All right, Mr. Sergi, please follow me. And this is actually, this is actually going to be your house right here. Got you a nice, perfect bed. Think you'll like it, think you'll like it. So this will be your home. Nice home, but all beds seem to be reserved. But yours is literally right there. What are you talking about? That's your bed, brother. Hello. Interact locations home. This is your bed. <laughs> Hi. Your bed is right there. Okay, Hello. thank you, thank you, sir. You're okay. A little, hmm. Okay, stay here, please. Dang, I'm taller than you. <laughs> All right, one more run. <laughs> one more run. And we are good. We are good. All right. One more guy. Now leaving silent yard? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell is a silent yard? My place is called Fairy Soiree. Holy crap, it gets dark. All right, let's go down. Oh boy, oh my god. Sleep real quick. Oh 
All right. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh my god, what is that? She got some balls on her. <laughs> Alright, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's over here? Oh, I thought it said somebody was over here. Oh, Gregory, you and this cat look like you need some saving. <laughs> oh my goodness, this cat is pushing. There you go. Can you get up? No, you can't. Okay, here you go. And you know what? Actually, you're gonna... <laughs> Happy, huh? Well, follow me, sir. We're actually just gonna hop in my my ride real quick. Uh huh. I have no clue how to change that. All right, follow me, kind sir. And you do not have a bed, so I do need to get you one. But we're gonna head in here. This is going to be your 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 home, and you are also going to be in charge of. A flowering, uh, what's it called? Why am I blinking right now? Um, greenhouse. Yes, greenhouse. <laughs> All right. For now, we'll just place it right there. Hi. This is going to be your new home. Hello. And you. Oh, it's he's staying. Okay. Perfect! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, we have all our villager houses full. Everybody has their beds. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's actually gather them all up. Just to kind of, Hi. just to kind of tell them what's going on a little bit. I'm sure they're very confused. Um, hi, welcome to the fairy soiree. It's kind of a little a little wonky in here but i'm sure you guys will love it just fine they all have different eye colors and different hair colors <laughs> i love this <laughs> um welcome i'm very excited to get to know each and every one of you don't worry it'll be a vacation for a little bit but we're eventually going to get you guys to work and helping out around a village does that sound good you guys yeah okay perfect i hope you'll find your stay here super great and let me know if you guys need anything okay I'm here for you, 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 and you. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, you're perfect. We love it. <laughs> All right, and with that, I think that is a great place to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.